Original art credits go to Elemental 999E-9, uh, parentheses Electra. That's a long name, so it's probably going to make it past the intro card. But hello, welcome to the new episode of Redra, starring yours truly, Monkey from Amazing Games. And today we are doing the first, uh, I can only assume is a My Little Pony, uh, OC. It, it's very reminiscent. It could just be your average Pegasus OC, but uh, I have a sneaking, sneaking suspicion that this is a My Little Pony OC. And, uh, well, I'm not going to get better at this kind of stuff if I never do it. This is I think this might be the first time I've ever drawn uh, even a Pegasus. <laughs> and uh, so I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Uh, but I'm going to try my absolute darndest to do my best. Be uh, because I've never drawn it, but I have no quarrel with My Little Pony stuff. Um, you know, my my brother... One of my brothers, uh, Matt, would know. Uh, my friend, my close friends would know which one would, was uh, really, really into My Little Pony for a while. Um, but uh, yeah, one of my brothers was into My Little Pony for a while, and uh, because there was only one TV at the time, uh, I would watch the show with him every now and again. And uh, you know, it's not bad. I wouldn't call it, like, the greatest show ever or anything, but it's not terrible. I mean, it, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it turned out to be. Uh, you know, it was like... Uh, I mean, the characters were pretty one-dimensional, but it was like, uh, at first, you know, they each have their own personalities that they follow, kind of like the Care Bears, you know. Uh, it's the, the only character, I think... That even changed a little bit was Fluttershy. She was probably my favorite out of the bunch. If I had a favorite. But I'm not a brony. So. Eh. It's okay. I friggin' then of course there was that song that came out a couple of years back about the bad guy of that show. I think his name was. Yeah it was Discord. This is friggin'. It's all like Discord, whatever can you do? Yeah, it's free and like that Living Tombstone remix came out and everyone lost their minds. It was weird. I don't I don't understand it, but you know Free and I thought the show would was good for like little kids and whatnot, but I, I don't understand how like thirty two year old men can go out and just dress as a My Little Pony. It's just like, isn't that a little embarrassing, guys? No. It's just not even, just a little. I mean, like, really. Who's gonna... Like, I have, like, more power to you if you love the show when you're that age, but, like, oh my goodness. It's like... It's like furries for me, like real life furries. Anthropomorphic characters are awesome, but you know, like f the people who actually dress up in animal costumes and whatnot and pretend that that's who they are in real life is it's. It, I mean, I don't want to judge, but I, it just doesn't sit right with me. Uh, I don't hate them. I'm not gonna like beat up one just because they are, but it's. Just, I kind. I respectfully disagree that that you should be able to do that stuff and uh it's just like you're 32 why are you why are you why are you dressing up as my little pony shouldn't you be paying taxes or did you spend all your tax money on the costume it's just like like really you can just like a show, but please, please. It's like the Rick and Morty fans. They can be just as bad. Freaking dressing up like Rick and Morty and shouting Wubba Lubba Dub Dub and all that. It's like, it's ridiculous. So I guess the moral of this story is, you know, just 
don't let fandoms go too far, I suppose. And, you know, don't let them control you. Don't let them control your life. And, uh, well, right about now, it should be showing the, uh, old and the new pictures of this OC. And, uh, yeah. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day.